Hey guys, in this video I'll be teaching you six slide licks that incorporate a combination of slide and fretted notes, so stay tuned. So one of the ways to make your slide playing more interesting is to make use of fretted notes with slide notes. And here are six licks you can try out to get you started. We're going to be in open G for this, so tuning wise, we're going to go low to high, D, G, D, G, B, and D. And that should give you an open G chord. Alright, if you'd like to jump right to lick number one, click here. Otherwise, here's a few tips on guitar setup and slide selection. You can play these licks on either electric or acoustic. Today I'm playing it on my electric. Uh, for slide playing on electrics, I like to use 11 gauge strings, but you can go up to like 12 gauge, um, especially for this tuning. I like to have a medium action or basically high enough to slide cleanly, but low enough to fret comfortably. All right, on acoustics, I like to use 13s, which is basically like the light gauge of acoustic strings. Uh, so your guitar might already have uh, those strings on it. Depending on what kind of acoustic you're using, for instance, like a resonator, uh, I have a 16 on top and a 59 on a bot, 59 on the bottoms, which is pretty heavy. Uh, but this type of guitar can handle that type of tension. So string gauge will somewhat dictate what kind of slide that works best, particularly the weight of the slide. Uh, for me, since I have 11s on this guitar, uh, I like to use this glass slide from Silica Sound. Uh, it's not super heavy, so it doesn't weigh down the strings but it's tapered at the end, so it adds a little bit of mass, which is good for um, sustain. So on the resonator, uh, since it has huge strings, I can get away with a heavier slide. Uh, I have this uh, pretty thick walled glass slide from Diamond Bottlenecks in the UK. Uh, it's got the weight and mass for smooth sl sliding on these heavier strings. So let's get started with lick number one.
enjoyed this lesson. If you did or didn't, please leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.